WordPress plugins extend the functionality of your WordPress website by offering additional features not found in your theme by default. There are tens of thousands of free plugins as well as thousands more premium plugins for WordPress that perform a variety of functions like compiling analytics data, integrating contact forms or e-commerce features, filtering spam from your comments or contact forms, improving your site's SEO, and more. The name plugin comes from the fact that these features require little to no coding to set up once installed on your site. You just plug in the feature and you're good to go, at least in theory. In my experience, it doesn't always go that smoothly. There are plenty of plugins that require you to perform several steps to get the features functioning properly on your site. And some plugins require light coding such as CSS styling to make them look serviceable or match your branding. So where do plugins come from? Well, plugins are developed by third-party developers wanting to bring certain features or integration to WordPress or by companies that want their product to integrate with WordPress. Obviously, integration means more sales. For example, MailChimp and HubSpot developed their own marketing integration plugins for WordPress for things like building email lists. Google, on the other hand, develops its own SiteKit plugin for WordPress that integrates all its platforms into your website, such as Analytics, Search Console, and AdSense. WooCommerce is a company that dedicates itself to developing e-commerce plugins for WordPress to help users set up and run a digital shop to sell products to their customers. If you haven't heard of WooCommerce yet and you plan on setting up an e-commerce site, you will probably become very familiar with WooCommerce. You may also stumble upon plugins made by single developers that aren't part of any company. Plugins developed by individuals tend to address smaller or more niche problems with your website. So long as the plugins reviews are solid, it's usually fine to install plugins from smaller developers on your site. However, use caution when going with plugins from lesser known developers as the code may be clunkier and thus may hurt your site's performance. Also, there may be security problems if the plugin hasn't been updated in a while or hasn't been vetted by a large community of users. Another important thing you should know about WordPress plugins that I just mentioned above is that certain plugins may slow down your site. The more plugins you add to your site, the higher the risk is that at least one of the plugins will hurt your site's performance. This is because plugins add code to the back end of your website, which increases the size of site pages and increases the number of operations your page must perform when being loaded by a site visitor. To avoid plugins significantly impacting your site's performance, it is recommended that you install plugins from reputable or well-known developers and only install plugins when necessary. Finally, plugins can create security risks on your site. To minimize such risks, I'll re-emphasize that you should download and install plugins from reputable developers. You should also ensure that your plugins are always up to date and compatible with the latest version of WordPress, which your site should also be using. I'll show you how to update your plugins in an upcoming lecture. Ultimately, the plugins you choose to use for your site will depend on your site or business's specific needs, as well as your own research and your own preferences. That's it for this lecture. To recap, plugins add a variety of features to your website to help extend your site's capabilities. There are both free and premium plugins available for WordPress from a variety of developers, including well-known companies and individual developers. When choosing a plugin to install to your site, you should go for plugins from reputable developers with lots of five-star reviews when possible. Some plugins may slow down your site's performance or be incompatible with your site. Always check your site after installing a plugin to ensure it hasn't broken anything or impacted performance.